Welcome to the part 10 of the Grumman 2 teardrop series. Uh, what we're going to do now is add the doors to the sides and then we will put it all together. Uh, first thing I'll do is I'll make a copy of this door and uh, paste. Paste it right over here by it. And then what we're going to do is actually rename that right side and so it'll show up with that layer. And we're going to go ahead and move it. Uh, we'll move it right there to the edge of the door. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and group these together. Uh, so you can actually put two groups together. Uh, so it'll act as one group, but then you can treat them as two. We'll go ahead and get rid of that. Put the left side up. Swing it around to the outside part of the left side. Copy this door. And then we'll put it out here. Now the window's on the back side of that door. Let's go ahead and name it left side first. And then when you right click on it and you flip along the green axis to put the window on the right hand side or on the outside. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and move it uh, and put it in place. Click there. And then, then again we're going to group this side. Um, so highlight both of them group so now they're together now we don't need this door anymore we're not using it and for that matter we don't actually need the door layer because we added them to the other layer so we'll delete that okay now what we'll do is start putting it together so I'll go ahead and go back here into the layers and we'll show the floor and the left side so what we'll do is uh, zoom in here and it's pretty easy matching these up. You just use reference points uh, where things are together. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and put the bulkhead in here. Now I know the bulkhead is five inches off the back side of here, so we'll put a guideline to be able to position the bulkhead because there's no other reference. Uh, we'll go ahead and move the bulkhead down here. Uh, click on that corner and then you have to kind of zoom in put it on the guideline and drag it into the corner uh, so it gets a little hard to do this a little tricky uh, just place it there and then drag in here a little bit more okay so there it's positioned uh, so we'll go ahead and position the right hand side uh, Click on it, and this corner matches that corner, and then we'll put the hatch on here. The hatch goes right down here in that corner. Well, it's not quite in its position yet. No, I didn't want to move that one. Select the hatch itself and then move it okay there we go and then we'll go ahead and put the shell and we'll move it and I uh, see right now the shell has got some lines on the inside we'll go ahead and delete them later on I'll show you how to do that but uh, position it right there and there you go uh, We'll zoom out, select it all. I want to move it back over on the axis a little bit better, on the right side of the axis. And then, well, there you go. There's all the sides. We shut off the profile. Uh, zoom in. And there you can see it. Uh, we'll go ahead and delete the guide there. Uh, that is the deal. We'll work on it a little bit more detail. I'll show you how to clear up some of these lines on the inside of the shell. Basically, you just go in and edit that group and delete them is all you do. Make sure the surfaces don't delete. And uh, then we'll just play around with this and add a frame and eventually some wheels and axles. And that's it for now.